to work within a program that will update everything you need to know about health from top to toes and from the inside through the outside. And for today's program, we're going to have a look at the traditional Thai medicine, which is for Thai people considered as another way or options for receive their medicinal treatment. And for today's, that's why I'm here at the Apai Bed Hospital or the traditional Thai medicinal hub, which is situated in Prajinburi province. This hospital is situated in the heart of Prajinburi province. The hospital is very well known for its traditional Thai alternative medicine using herbal therapeutic massage, acupuncture, herbs, medication and cosmetics. This is uh, Zhao Phya Pai Phu Bet Hospital. It's located in the eastern of Thailand. It's far from Bangkok, about uh, 134 kilometers. It's located in the Brajinburi province. Chao Phya Pai Phu Bet have uh, many, many activities about the Thai traditional. Uh -huh. One is uh, Thai traditional service. Two, two is a uh, Thai traditional training center. And three is uh, knowledge management in Thai traditional medicine and herbal medicine. And we have a uh, research develop development. At the Another one, we have about the herbal product development. Mm -hmm. And you know, at the recently, Ministry of Thai Public Health is uh, promote about the herbal medicine. Mm -hmm. We have, uh, we have uh, received the policy of uh, this project. And uh, we attempt to integrate about the basic knowledge of vessel medicine and uh, into the study of Thai. Yes, of Thai and practice to the Thai traditional medicine. Most patients who come here are categorized in two types, which are IPD patients or inpatient department and OPD patient or outpatient department. IPD patients are those who need to be looked after closely these patients will stay over at the hospital, while OPD patients are those who come to receive the treatment at the hospital and leave after that treatment is done. They will get prescribed medication from the doctor and will have to come back to follow up on their condition. Um, the inpatient, um, we have uh, integrated about the modern medicine combined with uh, Thai traditional medicine. Mm -hmm. We have uh, many, many programs about this patient. One program is a uh, Thai traditional massage, yes. combined with um, Thai herbal medicine. And the other program is uh, modern medicine, rehabilitation, and uh, acupuncture in Chinese traditional medicine. The other is uh, meditation, and uh, the exercise. Mm -hmm. In the outpatient, uh, the patient have a diagnosis and treatment um, by Thai traditional theory. And they have a Thai, Thai herbal medicine and some patients have a Thai traditional massage to relieve the symptoms. So what are the differences between inpatients and outpatients over here? Um, the difference is uh, disease and uh, the symptom. It's uh, many symptoms um, we advise to admit uh, because uh, we have uh, many programs to treat. If you would like to receive a treatment at the hospital, it is advised to call the hospital and make a reservation. Walk-in can be done as well, but since the hospital is quite busy, booking in advance is more preferable. And that's it for today, and for next week's program, we're going to have a look at how the traditional Thai medicine is made. Till then, bye-bye, swadika. -bye.